So this evening, what I wanted to do was I kind of wanted to do an impromptu on sewing. So I want to demonstrate how you actually can repair um, minor tears or holes in your clothing without throwing them out. So my husband has a little shirt that I got him and it had a little rip. And he wanted me to return it, but knowing that I can just fix it, there's no need for me to return it. I can simply just sew it myself. So what we're going to start out with, in order to do um, a minor repair, um, first of all, you need to have something to repair. <laughs> but you also need a few tools. So I'm just starting off with this black thread. And it can be any thread. Um, this is just some cheap little thread, but it does well. And it comes in one of those little um, cute little kit. It looks like this. Okay, and uh, you can see I'm almost out because I do fix a lot of things. Um, or I like to make stuff as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by threading it. So in order to thread the needle, uh, what you want to do is maybe just lick the tip because it can be kind of um, uneven at the end or a little fuzzy. So it will make it difficult to go through a small needle hole. You can also use a needle threader, but um, I don't use those. I just do this method. So I'm going to lick it a little bit, and then um, I'm going to get out my basic needle. Uh, I'm losing everything. Okay, so I have my basic needle, and it looks like this. Okay, so now I've actually got my needle threaded, and as you can see, um, I've stuck it through the little eye in the needle, and I've pulled it down. Now what you can do is, this part is optional as far as how long you want it to be. Um, I don't need much, so... I'm probably not going to use all of that. I only have a minor um, rip that I'm trying to fix. So I'm going to roll it up some. Whoa. I'm going to roll it up some. And then I'm going to cut it at the end. So once I get that needle back in my hand, I'm going to say that's good enough. So I'm going to hold it up. I know you can't really see it well, and I'm sorry for that, guys. But um, I, you can eyeball it and then cut the two strands even. And what you're going to want to do is pull it together, those two strands. And then you're going to simply tie the two of them in a little knot at the end. Because this is going to keep that thread from going through, back through the fabric when you're going in and out. Okay? So you do want to kind of have a substantial sized knot. And you can tie this a couple of times. I like to tie it a couple of times. Um just to kind of keep it sturdy when it is being pulled so much. There. And just put it in a little knot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off that excess. So that that's the excess that I want to cut off. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Just like that. And you'll just have this little fuzzy piece at the end. Alright. So it's good to go. Make sure your knot is extra tight. Now what you're going to do is depending on what you're t trying to repair for me for instance it's this um, little tear in the sleeve um, so I'm going to be repairing that and it's not very big it's on one of these sleeves let's see here okay so as you can see we have a little peekaboo spot I'm going to flip this inside out because you want to have it inside out because one, you don't want it to look tacky where you've been sewing at. And if you make any mistakes, it will be on the inside. So that's something to keep in mind. So you want to put your needle aside. You can stick it in a push pin, but I don't have one right here. Again, this is pretty impromptu, so I'm going to stick it in my pillow. All right. All right, so I'm going to flip this inside out. Okay, so this is the sleeve that we're looking at, right? And this is the little peekaboo spot we talked about. So what you want to do is simply, um, when you're repairing some fabric such as this on a seam, it's pretty easy because all you want to do is match it up to that seam part, which you see is here, this raw edge that they have on the inside. So I'm simply going to just pull that extra fabric up where the stitches may have missed, which is why we have that hole. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that all the way up. I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to get my handy dandy needle out, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to be mindful to hold it 
very carefully and you're going to stick that needle in at the closest point where it actually um, is not ripped at okay and you're going to take and you're going to pull that needle through so once you've done that once you've done that then you're just going to do a series of different weaves now you can go overhand underhand meaning you can go you can go on one side out the other over the top I kind of prefer this method when it's on the inside because it doesn't really make a difference so I'm just gonna take and bring it around each time and you're doing this about not even a half inch um, very minimal distance because you don't want it to be very tacky so if you can see there I've just done like an overhand one over then out and you can watch me do that a couple more times Okay, so you see I'm pushing it in, pulling it out. I'm taking it on one side. Okay, so whatever side the needle is on, then I'm going to come across the top, and I'm going to stick it in on the other side. And I'm going to make sure I'm still holding that fabric tight. You notice my hand is very tight and steady because I don't want to um, lose that edge and make it too messy. Now. You do want to watch your hands because this needle is sharp and you could get poked. So you do want to be mindful of that. Um, but basically it's just a series of overhand underhand um, strokes. Now I just have this minor little piece to finish. So I'm going to go ahead and do that very quickly. And you see this took less than about one minute pretty much. Um, it's a very minor process and it doesn't take much which is why I didn't need to run we have completely mended that open edge or that peekaboo spot so what I'm gonna do here the last part that you need to do is simply tie off where you've actually ended right you have to do something with that needle it can't stay in your shirt or you might get poked so you're gonna take and you're gonna swoop you're gonna take that needle hold it in your hand you're gonna make a little circle like this a little circle just twist it around then you're going to take and poke that needle back through that hole. You see how I'm poking that needle back through the hole? Alright, so I'm going to bring it under. Now I'm going to hold that fabric because I want that knot as close to where the actual problem was as possible because I want it to be a very neat portion. You see how that knot is invisible now. You can't even see where that is. So I'm going to do that one more time. The reason why I like to do it twice is just because I don't want to fix this again. There you are, guys. Um, this is just your basic sewing lesson. If you have a um, a tear on the seam or something like that, and this can be this technique can be used for any kind of um, problem, really, as far as a minor little hole that you want to repair. Do it from the inside, so that way I'm going to flip this over and let you guys see how that looks. Okay, so this is our repair spot, and as you can see, it's a very clean edge, very. Um, very um, unnoticeable as far as that we repair this compared to looking at where the original manufacturer has sewed on it. So you see how clean that edge is? This is a great way to do it, a hidden seam for this. So there we are. Um, now you know how to repair a basic rip or peekaboo spot. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more um, DIY videos or how-tos. Bye!